Hello, I'm Dr. Clint Sexton, and this video is entitled What You Don't Know About Hashimoto's Disease. When we think about Hashimoto's, we really just tend to focus on the thyroid gland itself. Now true, that is where the problem is, is manifesting itself, but the real issue is that the immune system is attacking your thyroid gland. Another name for Hashimoto's is chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis. Now I know that's a really big name, but let's just break down those three words. So chronic means it's continually happening. Lymphocytic is talking about lymphocytes, which are uh, a group of your immune cells. So that's part of the immune system. And thyroiditis means inflammation of the thyroid gland. So the problem is, is that your immune system is chronically attacking your thyroid gland. So really the root cause of Hashimoto's is a disease of the immune system. The immune system is inappropriately uh, targeting your thyroid as something to be attacked. And in this case, the thyroid is just an innocent bystander. And due to this chronic inflammation, it starts to destroy the gland. And as, and as time goes by, your hormone levels will start to go down because the thyroid is producing less and less hormone. Now there's a couple of the things that go with this. One is that um, many times you're still suffering with low thyroid uh, symptoms, yet you're trying to solve that by continually adjusting and changing your thyroid hormone, yet you could still end up with symptoms of low thyroid function. You may have problems with weight or fatigue or brain fog or any of the other things we would tend to associate with low thyroid function. But the real issue might be these, it, these problems being caused by the immune system. So your, your hormone levels might actually be in a really good range, yet you're still suffering with all these problems. That's because the problem is the immune system. It creates inflammation. It interferes with the way other systems in your body are working. So you just kind of get on this endless cycle of trying to sort out the symptoms by constantly adjusting thyroid hormone, but that may not be the problem at all. Now, of course, you do want to make sure that your thyroid levels are in a good range, but if they are in a good range and you're still having problems, you really need to get down to the underlying issue, which is the immune system. Another big concern is once you get one autoimmune disease, you're much more likely to develop others. So that's one of the really important reasons you want to get your attention on the immune system and not having all the focus just on what the levels of thyroid hormone are. If you'd like some more information on this, uh, click on the link and check out the blog. Thank you.